Welcome to the Christian Pattern, a daily communicate revised now to cover the gospel of Jesus Christ according to the scriptures. Welcome to Christian Sphere, the daily communion. It has been a while since we podcast, but we're going to pick up back up where we left off. We're going to be once again in the book of Acts. So we will start with the singing of hymn number 91, and then we will follow with uh, hymn number 303, Keep the Commandments. So first we'll sing hymn number 91, Um, Father, thy children to thee now raise First two verses. number 303 keep the commandments and then after that I will offer an opening prayer okay here we go number 303 takes a little patience here to get there Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for so many rich blessings which we do have. We believe in thee and we trust in thee with all our heart. And we know that we with with thee that thou art with us and we are never alone. And we will wait on thee and we will call on thee. We invite the Holy Ghost into this this um 
wherever we are at the time of this podcast. We say this in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, the difference between the past daily communions is we're going to start with um, the Old Testament reading, Proverbs chapter 1. Okay, so we'll read a few verses there. The Proverbs of Solomon, beginning of chapter 1, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction. To perceive the words of understanding. To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. To give subtlety to the simple to the young man knowledge and discretion a a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel We will now go into the Psalms. Today's reading is going to be Psalms 31. And we're going to read the first five verses. In thee, O God, in in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me. In thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock. For an house of defense. To save me. For thou art my rock. And my fortress. Therefore. For thy name's sake. Lead me. And guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid uh, privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thine hands, hand I commit by my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. We will now go into the New Testament the book of Acts first chapter beginning the first verse the former treatise have I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day he was uh, in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after he had his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them forty days and speaking of the, the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Verse 4 And being assembled together with them commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem but wait for the promise of the Father which saith he ye have heard of me verse 5 for John truly baptized with water but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence 
when they therefore were come together, they asked him of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses of me both in Jerusalem and in old Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Now, with that, I want to analyze our text in the um, in the New, the New Testament. When I think about the promise of the Father, what is the promise of the Father? Well, if you read Doctrine and Covenants section 95 verse 9, it says, Yea, verily I say unto you, I give unto you a commandment, that you shall build a house, in which house I design to endow those whom I have chosen with power from on high. For this is the promise of the Father unto you. Therefore, I command you to tarry, even as my my apostles in, um, at Jerusalem. What is this promise of the Father? What is it? Many people don't know. Some assume that it's the Holy Ghost alone. What it was, what it is, is the gospel fullness. Jesus had to bring about the atonement in order to bring about the gospel fullness. And with that, he had to bring about the best possible solution. He ushered in the gospel fullness when he descended into heaven and brought down the Holy Ghost upon the early members of the church. I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hope that you enjoyed listening to uh, Christian Pattern. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Christian Pattern Community. This is Jimmy Hendrix saying until next time, remember who you are. Read your scriptures. And please, 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 preach the gospel. See you tomorrow.